Hello everyone and welcome back to the Rajendra campaign. Today we're playing Scenario 4 Sacred Waters with the achievement No Wonder You Won to win the game before Mahapala completes his wonder. So I've heard this is a difficult one, so let's see if that is true. I was reminded the other day of a story that I had nearly forgotten. The tale of the god Indra and his battle against the mighty serpent, Vitra. The Vitra had taken all of the rivers of the world hostage, causing a global drought. Only by destroying the 99 fortresses of the Vitra and slaying the beast itself was Indra able to liberate the waters. The priests would call me sacrilegious, but to me, this tale has a hidden meaning. I am facing a Vitra of my own, and that monster is the great lie that I have lived until this day. The 99 fortresses are the little lies that are still burrowed into my soul. My irrational fear of corruption, my distaste for violence, and that misplaced care for the so-called innocent. Only when I destroy these inner fortresses can I unleash the greatness within me and become a ruler whose name will live on for millennia. To do so, I must look beyond our traditional enemies. Far to the northeast lies the land of Bengal. It is here, where the sacred Ganges meets the ocean, that I will achieve my greatest triumph yet. I have announced a march on the Pala Empire that rules Bengal. General Arayan has already left at the head of a large vanguard. Together, we will bring holy water from the Ganges back to Chola lands, so that the gods may bless our realm. And if I can defeat one of the greatest empires in the known world in the process, then all the better. We have to go fast. We have until 1547. We don't get to make our own uh, army, but if we're going to destroy the wonder in time to get the achievement, we are going to turn our allies to neutral so we can build up attack against them. We have to go through first cyan and then green to rendezvous with orange and then finally attack yellow who is building a wonder. So let's go. The journey ahead of long campaign army. Take heart, men. Once the Bengali emperor lies dead in the field, you will all drink from the sacred river Ganges. We are running the The kingdom of Kalinga is the first obstacle in our path. Many of their soldiers are spread out Army across Pogiri. the countryside. Ah, the so the city should be easy pickings. The Cholas are here. Lock the gates. We are. I mean, defend the city with your lives. Fight the elephants with pikemen if we can. We're building up your attack. Of a vast Jola force marching on my left. Do you truly believe that your army of fledglings can go toe to toe with the Pala Empire. Well, let's hope so, because that's what our objectives require us to do. It did not work out Kalinga is ours. Let us rest and bandage our wounds before we continue our march. It appears that King Indraratha fled as soon as he saw our forces on the horizon. In a small fortress in the mountains. If we kill him, we could have the remains of the resistance. Everything goes into there. I hear that you have captured Kalinga. I too will step on an ant. You know. But you do not hear me bragging about it. Sorry. I that they did it. All right, we have this secured. Resources. Make sure that it reaches our army unscathed. Army morale increased. Okay, you're allied again. Uh, 
Did you go up there? Some more supplies there. Let's see if we can get this. I mostly want siege and armored elephants, but the battle ones can be useful too. Let's see, we want to snipe off a guy in there. And get someone to open the gate for us. And waltz right in and go for him. All of our crossbows, most especially. Hopefully, we get him. My only regret is not joining the Chalukyas in war against you, Rajendra. There we are. It would have been. A fine thing to burn Tanjavur to the ground. Strong words for a man with an arrow through his chest. But for such words to have any meaning, they must be acted upon. Okay, we're gonna go fast here. Bring Archer Armor and Bracer, that's good. I need more elephants up there. Let us use them to crack open Utkala's defenses. Or just this army. And then we'll be okay. Damage well in use. There's like one spearman here. We kill them. Go for the market. Alright. And this army will gather up. And then we can start trebbing. In fact, we're almost ready to start trebbing now. Its thick walls and dense forests are formidable defenses. Here we are. Perhaps we can find an easy way The walls of Ushkala have not been breached in living memory, and they will not fall today. I need more elephant archers here. Fight, fight, fight. Okay, we're almost through at about eight minutes. It's a good pace. Utkala is ours, but we cannot stay here for long. Reinforce our army and let us face the Bengali Emperor in battle. Sorry, find the target. Ungar Sitam, in Sariya Yanami Pogiri. Okay, sorry, my swordsman. Bandits stole a relic from our monastery. As our new ruler. We ask that you return it to us. The wood in these machines was rotted away. I am surprised that they survived this long. It is good to see you again, Rajendra. There we are. Start moving up. Mahipala has arrayed his army on the battlefield and prepares to attack. My men and I have scouted the land thoroughly, however. So we will not have to fight blindly. When this day is over, we will wash up the blood of our enemies in the sacred waters of the Ganges. A ship filled with resources has arrived from Tanjavur. Make sure that it reaches our army unscathed. Oh, you didn't reach our dock. That's not good. We need to get two ships to our docks. I don't think that's possible. But we're going to try. Get the monks there. Come up here. I can and swordsmen can engage on that market. Uh, okay, he's got two handed swordsmen still to uh, that. These swordsmen are fast, go there. What is it with these monks and not being able to keep track of their holy artifacts? Ah oh, well, as long as they reward us for our Keep everyone grouped up together. And we have a few minutes. I don't think our ships made it. Their ships would have been helpful. Well. I once mourned the killing of innocents. But I must remember that these <laughs> <are not laughs> <true> <laughs> allowed themselves to be used by an enemy king. 
they are as complicit in the slaying of my soldiers as he is. All right, add in a few more armored Ellies and mostly Ellie archers. Uh, where are my heroes? Do I have a hero up here? I want everyone just to go straight there. I don't know where my other hero is. You're there. You come back, don't die. We humbly thank you for your help, Emperor Regenda. You may have your pick from our supplies. Yeah, chemistry and cannon galleon, that's good. Okay, attack that siege workshop because it's blocking our pathing. My dynasty learned not to embark on extravagant campaigns like yours long ago. Okay, go see Jellies, go to the wonder. We have we have a bit of time. We have a bit of time. Everyone go forward. Okay, Rumi, you run for it. Let's take out that castle while we're here. And the Ellie archers go. You start from the back, get the bills in the back. Alright, let's just come back here, regroup our forces in the back. We're gonna die there, but as long as we get to the wonder, it's okay. I need you focused on the Ellie archers and not the other units that are gonna be coming to destroy the wonder. If I can get around the back there. Armored Ellie's. Yeah, those Ellie's. I hope. I hope they can do this. A ship filled with resources has arrived from Tanjavur. Make sure that it reaches See if it makes it. Unscathed. Okay. We got the wonder though. Yes. Whew. Okay. We killed the wonder. Now we just need to win the scenario somehow. And I don't know how, because we're not going to have the resources to amass the large army again. But we got the wonder. Maybe we just send armored Ellie's to that castle. I mean, cannon galleons could be an option. We need to somehow retake water, though. And I don't think that's going to happen. We're going to lose that market. Let's sell some wood first. Let's use Ellie Arches to destroy the stuff attacking that gate. And also use those elephants to do that, too. Okay. Well, we'll take some good HP off of that castle. Maybe that'll weaken them somehow. Ellie Archer there. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, we still have the gate alive. That's good. We still have archery ranges over here. And then some pikemen there. Our Ellie Archers do have more uh, HP. That's definitely a thing that will be helpful. I mean, more attack, as long as our heroes are alive. Our market's still alive. I think we need a lot of Onagers and uh, Ellie Archers now. Let's see if we can save those ranges over there for some production facilities. Need more food. I don't know if they ever will run out of resources, but I hope they will eventually. There's some elephants there. Save you if we can. Oh, more champions.
Okay, we need to use this choke point. Hopefully get a sling soon. Please sling me. Lutaka, please sling me. Oh, there we go. Sling. Yes. More Ellie archers. More onagers. Oh, but that does not look good. Shoot. Oh, they have a trib. A ship filled with resources has arrived from Tanjabur. Make sure that it reaches our army unscathed. Sneak there, please. Oh, maybe we are winning this. Hey, we got the treb. Still have stuff alive here. Maybe they're out of eco too. They seem to be dying down in army numbers. Still have elephants here. Um, I don't see much being trained by that flag. Maybe if we attack that, it will draw them away from our forces down here, and we can take better, uh, stalling tactics. Okay, that ship didn't make it. I need to, maybe just amass a bunch of ships there, and at some point I'll move Agenda back to the bottom. Yeah, we'll go Anajur, Elephant Archer. Yeah, and then let's lure them up back here. Lure them away. And at some point we make we'll have more sea jellies, but we want to get a lot more Ellie archers first though. And I can spend food, ten food to heal my units. <laughs> that was not much HP, but it worked. I probably should have done that earlier. But I think uh, if they're not training too many units now, we should could be okay. Maybe we gotta push forward and be aggressive. We have our heroes alive. Yeah, they don't have any units left. And we have Ellie Archers with 7 attack. That, that castle was repaired. Oh, I was just wasted elephants doing that then. Okay, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, those are some nice energy hits there. Hopefully they don't rebuild this. Oh, there goes my market. I'm going to have lots of wood now. Maybe I should have made a trade cart and tried to trade with one of my allied markets. It's 14, that'll be another volley of arrows from us. And a few more onagers. That, that is their bulk of their army, I hope. Look at that, all right. We have a bit of wood. 
the mast. We can always move back to a further back city. And just try to stall. Nope, nope, they are rebuilding. Should not have attacked there. Make sure that it reaches our army unscathed. Yes, it's just elephants and onagers. Just gotta make sure that over time we go up in elephant population, not down. Now, those chariots are kind of annoying. We have 4,000 wood that we can no longer sell. It's just a mass elephants and heal the elephants we have with our remaining food. Alright, and just uh, the boring part where we amass elephants. Slow through ranges in a workshop. And we can retreat to that castle if we really need to fight differently. So, let's see if we can get up to 200 elephants. Yeah, and you stay by that dock. Eventually, we'll move Vigendra back down to the initial town and try to get those supplies. Because I won't be able to move them up to that dock, that's for sure. But I can move them down to this dock. No problem if I get, like, two... Maybe I'll, we'll wait till we get, like, two or three of those boats. If we, if we can amass several boats at once, that is. And these elephants are still here. Should I bring the elephants back to join my main force? I think that's probably the uh, smart thing to do. And we have some guys in front. And maybe we start adding in scorpions soon. I think this is just a waiting game now. Oh, nope. They're attacking. We just need to make sure we're landing our onager hits and winning these fights. And I think we are winning them. Like that, boom. Okay, nice. And we'll heal up. Tiny bit of HP, but HP nevertheless. Twenty-four elephants. Oh, we're we're moving up, we're moving up indeed. Oh, we still have an elite Rumi swordsman there. You just stay in the back of the back there, and we're gonna guard this choke point. Wait for our next uh, round of food. Don't know how long that'll be. There's like two of them. Make sure right. that it reaches our army unscathed. They seem to be not attacking my ships, which I like. Twenty-four Ellie's. We're gonna get another round. I wonder if our general can go and capture that hero for us, and not Regenda. Not quite the gold for another Onager. <laughs> we can make it a ship. I mean, cannon galleons to attack. That would be nice if we ever get enough gold to. Uh, a massive navy. Maybe four elephants? Maybe wait for like three or four of those ships. Oh, here we are. This is where we need onager shots. You, a couple more onagers. Instead of those onagers, maybe I could have mashed ships. Oh, 
Oof, that trip almost got my onager. I think we need to secure the land onagers first. And then get three or four ships down here and just hold this. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's Reg only Regendra who can get the 400 food. Oh, that was just the old message that didn't clear yet. Okay. I was like, did the tribute stop? <laughs> they slow down. Okay, like eight or so onagers. It's onagers, it's good. Uh let's just heal up our elephants a tiny bit. Have a few seconds of healing. Uh right, good. 40 or so. Okay, yeah, we're definitely doing uh good things here. How many ships? I can fit 10 eight of those like really big. Oh, I can make 20 of those really big ships. And with that, maybe I could take the water. Resources has arrived from Tanjavur. Make sure that it reaches our army unscathed. Yeah, I think I'll start amassing some of those ships then. I could do ship right. Uh, it's 20% less wood. Oh, it's only it's only wood. I uh, no reason to ship right then. Oh, there. Oh, stopping to micro. 50 or so Ellie Archers. Well, when we get 60 Ellie Archers, that'll be good. Not using the Onagers, but it's okay. And they're not going to destroy the docks. Which I can just amass these Therissidae inside the docks. And then take the water once we get it. A lot of them. And then get my shipments through. I don't even need to move Regendra back to the starting city. Or Regendra. I think I'm getting better at saying the name. Let me know if I'm not. <laughs> okay. This one was still only like 25 minutes into this. We're a, Or at least into the recording. This is a... Brief scenario due to that times 8 speed we got. Yeah, this is the debug speeds uh, launch option in Steam. I have a video showing how to do that. If you want to uh, do the same thing. Okay, there we are. More Ellie Archers. More of these ships. A ship filled with resources has arrived from Tanjavur. Make sure that it reaches our army unscathed. Alright. And now we can start amassing some armored elephants too. So our plan here it worked, which is basically just uh, snipe off the wonder by making the most population efficient army of elephants we can. And now just amass elephant archers and Thursidae. We'll see if the Thursidae work out. I think they're the best. Uh, in terms of the 10 slots I have in each dock, they will be the best ship. That'll fill that dock. And that'll fill that dock. Okay, we're filling docks now. And I think we start going back to Armored Elephants. Oh, and also we heal. And so how this works is we're actually going to get 12 ships. We will un-garrison from the dock at exactly the moment we uh, finish a 12th ship from each dock. Or a... No, we'll get... That means we get, we get 22 ships by uh, un-garrisoning at the exact moment we finish the 11th boat from each dock. That's what I meant to say. These uh, onagers are becoming less useful because uh, I don't have siege engineers and the elephants are too massive. They can't shoot over these chunky, chunky elephants. I got four ships here. But again, we're just going to speed things up, get another shipment. Get some more Ellie archers, get some more elephants, armored elephants. Five ships, all right. Make sure that it reaches our army unscathed. <laughs> Once we get that, we should be okay to push. All right. So you and you, you're going to build ships there. <laughs> there we are. Now yeah, the energies are paying off. back. Nope, 
click the dock there. Build more ships as we're fighting. Maybe we bring our navy together. If we can get some navy and then some cannon galleons, that'd be great. Oh yes, there's the day. Great ships. Much recommended. <laughs> this might not have been the intended way to get the achievement, but we got the achievement. And, uh, we're gonna win. And the next scenario, thankfully, there's no achievements. So we can just play it however we want to play it. Now, we go escort our five trade cogs to get supplies, and all oh, those supplies are going to be nice. Okay, that Thrissida is becalmed on our dock. And then once we get, we can cannon galley in that castle and armored elephant that castle. Our siege elephant. A castle boom, and there we are. A couple of you, a couple of cannon galleons now. That's a lot of ships again. Shift Q to attack the ships. Oh, elephant archers, yes. <laughs> the armored elephant, we gotta get ten of those. Where are these ships coming from? Get yeah, the cannon galleons out of the docks. Yeah, delete the dock to free the ship, right? It's not gonna get it out. Until like garrisoning it in a siege tower to move the ship. Oh yeah, siege towers, they should be able to move ships across land by garrisoning them. That would be gloriously ridiculous. Do these ships heal? I thought I just saw that ship heal anyway. Does that heal our ships too? Oh, it does heal our ships. Perfect. I like having my ships healed. I haven't gotten a trade cart in a long time, or a trade cog in a while. Ship filled with oh. <laughs> has arrived from Tanjaro. Just as I say that. Make sure that it reaches our army unscathed. Have to see if there's any more towers in the way. Oh, they're spawning behind us. Oh no. Okay, more. Let's make a few cannon galleons, but I'll put them inside the dock. Let's just, let's just do dry dock. Or, yeah, I'll do dry dock, and we'll make another armored Ellie. And we can't heal it yet. How are we doing here? Oh, we have a bit of a scuffle. Once we get those uh, trade cogs, then we'll push out again on land. Make sure we get this. All right, I think we are. Unless there's a couple surprise galleons there. <laughs> oh, what, what did I say? Surprise galleons. Even the cannon galleons can get some shots in there. Okay. Now we bring the ships up. Uh, oh, we don't need to be fighting there. Oh, we can be fighting there. I mean, why not? Oh, 
Okay. Let's make, maybe we gotta bring them one at a time just so that we don't. Oh, okay, good. They don't disappear. They just get used. Oh, wait, the trade cog un marooned the ship. <laughs> good. All right, ship right. We'll do heavy. We don't need that. Uh, siege on a jury. Yes, that's exactly what we can use. Make a few more armored elephants. And we're going to go for that castle. Uh, why are you not all together? I don't know. Uh, maybe I can't actually cannon galley in that castle from the shore. Oh, it's a fortified tower, but it's outside the range of cannon galleons, so that's good. Uh, onagers, come up, please. There. Deal with these elephant archers. Just explore all there is to explore on the uh, coast here. So I can, maybe I can sail in there and hit it eventually. Explore what's over here. Up this narrow passage. Airships probably shouldn't be able to sail. Okay, good. I can't hit it from the coast. Let's take out the rest of the docks as you scout that for us. Elephants go there as cannon galleons also go there. Got more tribute. Filled with resources has arrived from Tanjavur. Good. Make sure that it reaches our army unscathed. As the elephants come in, the cannon galleons will also come in. And oh, look at all that gold they have. Let's go protect the elephants. Okay, so this we know. I think there's a couple things to note. One. We can uh, change our allies to neutral to attack them. Two, we can go for a mad dash to the wonder and still survive if we lose our army, as long as we keep our heroes alive. And three, we can save trade cogs and get them later. GG, I saw the pop-up that I got the achievement there. And yeah, that is probably the hardest achievement from the DLCs. GG yellow despite suffering humiliation at my hands Mahipala refuses to bend the knee he retreats and leaves Eastern Bengal open for raids and in doing so he saves his dynasty from annihilation a part of me admires his staunch resistance but that is a part of me which must die there can be no admiration for one's enemies no respect for those who refuse to accept their place in the world that I am creating. For now, I will leave Mahipala to pick up the pieces of his broken pride. Another, even greater predator has drawn my eye. Okay. 1,100 kills. Six trade cogs. And large black area with a Ready? bandit. Hello, nice little bandit camp there. Ready. Fun little Easter egg when you explore the map. So yeah, this forest opens up after you get the message from yeah, ready, Green bro. that you can come over here. And then there is this passageway around the back of the back that you can use to run armored elephants and elephant archers and Arumi swordsmen and whatever else you have to try to snipe the wonder. That's the strategy I came up with. Hopefully it works for you. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.